I'm trying to process how these grown women lay down, spread their legs open for Brazilian wax, and let a child do it. And no matter how I wrap my head around it, I simply cannot fathom it. I want to see every one of those women arrested and put on the sex offender list. Because you have to be one messed up individual to literally lay down and do that. And at this point, there's just no telling what you're willing to do. But I really want to talk to the mother because really the mother, she is a piece of work. Now Child Protective Services is investigating the mother as they should. But I want to make sure y'all don't, don't forget to circle back to everybody else. <laughs> Police, don't forget to circle back to those women just in case y'all y'all lose track of the goal here. She needs to go to jail and every woman who lay down needs to go to jail. Overall, I feel really bad for this little girl because she was subject to something she did not need to be subject to, all in the name of growing a business and making her business minded. Hey, y'all gonna get enough of breaking laws and then posting everything on the goddamn interwebs for everybody to see. Y'all gonna get enough. Let's check this story out. Mother Jasmine Moss reportedly ran her hair removal business from this home in Westwood, according to police. Although two cars were in the driveway, no one came to the door to talk to me about the recent social media post that sparked a Memphis police investigation. I did speak with Melanie Salisbury, the owner of the Memphis Skin Academy in Bartlett. Myself being a mother, I probably would not have my child as young as five um, doing services such as that. Moss's social media post showing a five-year-old girl waxing a nude adult went viral last week. The Memphis Police Department says the images were uploaded to Moss's Instagram account to promote her hair removal service. In Tennessee, you have to be at least 16 years or older to actually um, get hours to obtain a license for becoming an esthetician. Police documents say the post claim her daughter waxed 24 clients for more than eight hours. Salisbury says waxing is too dangerous for a child. Even as an adult experienced professional, you can get burns. To become a licensed esthetician in the state of Tennessee, you must complete 750 hours of training and pass written and physical exams. Salisbury says, although it is not illegal to have an esthetician business in your home, there are laws and regulations. Long as it's um, inspected by our Tennessee State Board of Cosmetology, they come through and inspect the pr uh, premises and other things that may surround it with your local code enforcement and things of that sort. For the safety of the public, it's always, I always advise my students to work in a professional setting. Um, this story came across my timeline and listen, y'all, let me, let me put it into context in case you didn't get all that. Okay. So there was an esthetician. Okay. And this woman, I don't know if she was licensed or not. I have no clue, but I do know that you have to be licensed in order to perform these type of procedures on clients. There's paperwork and documentation that has to be obtained in order for you to do that. Can't I can't just wake up tomorrow and be like, oh, okay, I'm an esthetician and I want to practice in my home. You heard the lady right there who owns the business. She says in order for you to get a, a license, okay, or in order for you to conduct this type of business from your home, you still have to have the state board come through and make sure that the place that you are practicing this type of these type of procedures. OK, you still have to make sure that they are compliant and meet all of the regulatory rules. This chick takes to Instagram because y'all love Instagram, right? Everybody loves Instagram. Everybody, everything is for clout, right? Y'all think everything is Internet certified and is and it's Internet ready. It's for the public, for public consumption, right? So because y'all think that this chick decided, you know what? I'm going to have my five-year-old get on video, and I'm going to have her wax some coochies. Y'all, I, I seriously think that the earth isn't, isn't real, isn't a real place sometimes. I sometimes think that, you know what, we living in some type of, like, program, some type of matrix, because... Who in the world in their right mind would have their five-year-old daughter staring eye to eye with some of y'all's nasty, musty coochies? 
Who in the world would do that? And then in the post she was talking about, oh, I'm teaching her, I'm teaching her a skill. Ma'am, 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 what you're doing is breaking the law. That's what you're doing. What you're doing is breaking the law and possibly traumatizing a five-year-old who shouldn't be staring eye to eye with grown people's, other people's coochies that she, don't, that she ain't never seen before in her life. What are we doing? What are we even talking about? This is nasty work. Nasty work. Let's get to it, man. Let's read the article. Jesus Christ. You can't make this shit up. Jasmine Moss is being charged with misdemeanor child abuse and child neglect after she claimed her daughter waxed 24 women and earned over $700, reports state. Man. You know what? You know what my other question is? Never mind. I'll get to it in a second. This is sort of an unusual way to charge this, Balin said. This is her lawyer speaking, I'm assuming. Child abuse and neglect generally requires some definite harm to a child. It usually requires injury or something like that. So we've got our work cut out for us, but we are looking forward to representing her. Are you? The lawyer says that the next step is to prove to the court that she is a mother who is trying to do the right thing. How is that trying to do the right thing? How? In what world was having your five-year-old wax grown adults, private areas, how was that the right thing? Can somebody help me out in the comments? How was that? Let's continue reading, man. The lawyer says that the next step is to prove to the court that she is a mother who is trying to do the right thing. I have not seen the actual posts. Of course you haven't. You have. I assume they have been taken down. It's something that the state will have to turn over to us. We will see if what they can prove meets the definition of the law they charged her with. I think that's the big question here, Balin said. Balin tells us that despite making several headlines, Moss Moss's state of mind is normal for anyone whose liberty is in jeopardy. We also asked about the whereabouts of her daughter. That's not something I can comment on at this time. Moss told WREG. Um, she's expected to appear back in court on March the 20th. Y'all gonna, like I said, y'all gonna get enough of putting everything in the media for public consumption. You know what my other question is? This is what I was gonna say earlier. You know what my other question is? What grown adult would come to somebody else's home, get, get nude from the waist down, lay on the table to have a procedure done, and you see a five-year-old walk out, and the lady talking about, oh, I'm going to have my five-year-old do this, and you like, cool, no problem. What is wrong with y'all? The clients, too. This is on them as well. What type of client, what adult, what grown adult in their right mind We'll go lay down on somebody's table, see a five-year-old walk out talking about, I'm about to give you a wax. And they like, cool, I'm about to wax your coochie, ma'am. And they're like, cool. What? You shouldn't you be in school somewhere? Shouldn't you be finishing learning off your uh, your addition problems? And learning how to read and write? What are you doing talking about you about to wax something? And then you have people in the comments actually defending her. Talking about she was trying to teach her a skill. Ma'am, teach her how to cook. That's a skill. Teach her about money. That's a skill. How to preserve it. How to make it. How to grow it. That's a skill. Out of all the things, many different things you could have taught her, you decided to have your baby wax some coochies. You can't make this up. You can't make this up. <sighs> Somebody said you could have just let the baby try eyebrows. What is wrong with people? That's facts. If you could have, if you want to teach her a skill, you could have started with that. Or hell, have her do some nails or something like that. Why is she, man? Having your baby wax a big, grown, funky, cooter woman is insane. Thank you. Yes. Absolutely. Got that baby waxing people, busting it open. Again, across the board for me, it's egregious. Across the board. From the clients and the customers all the way down to the funky ass mama. It's egregious across the board. Weird activity. 
I'll see y'all in the next video. Yeah.